Hello everyone, this is the Old School Noob and today we're going to be opening a 2008 collector's tin. Uh, unfortunately it won't fit in the whole shot because I have a very limited uh, camera range, but you know, there's, there's, there's like the bottom of the tin. And like all around it just says 5Ds on it and then there's a picture of Turbo Warrior. Uh, these are actually really cheap on Amazon, so I think they're like £12 or something. So, and if you have Prime you can get them like next day, so. It comes with two Crossroads of Chaos first edition, one Jewelist Genesis, one Light of Destruction, one Phantom Darkness, and a Turbo Warrior promotional card. So let's get right into the tin itself. Now it does have a very different kind of wrapping from like the newer tins, which is uh, like the wrapping has Konami all over it. Like the older tins had the stickers on them, which tell you exactly what's actually in the tins. And this one, it says collect all four tins, 5D's variant card, five packs, and one bonus card pack inside. Now, the bonus card pack, as I know, because I actually opened one of these just before I actually started the channel, is actually a token pack, which is actually pretty cool. It's a shame that they don't do them now, because uh, even though there aren't that many cards that produce tokens, uh, it'd still be pretty cool to see a token pack, because, to be honest, they're kind of hard to find these days, apart from those... Uh, shiny promos so there's nothing like in the base of the tin because that that was nice in like the 5ds era because they kept putting stuff in the base of the tin where you don't really expect there to be stuff so we've got one english edition phantom darkness one light destruction one jewelist genesis and two crossroads chaos now i think the only shiny i actually pulled from the packs last time was uh light spawn lance so hopefully I'll get better pulls this time. So let's just open up the tokens. I think there's three in this pack actually. I'm not 100% sure. I opened it like a bit of a prat. <laughs> oh god. Oh there we go. So that that's what was really cool about these. Because they were like um, GX era tokens as well. Obviously because at this point there was only two 5Ds packs. So, I think this is Grinder Golem. I'm not completely sure. I think that was in Phantom Darkness. Uh, there's this thing. I actually did get one of these last time. And then there's uh, Fiends. Is it Fiend Sanctuary? I think it's Fiend Sanctuary. I know it was used in the show to kind of uh, get one of the Egyptian gods out or something in Battle City. So, I think I'll start. I'll go back to front actually. So, I'll start with Crossroads of Chaos and then go down into Phantom Darkness. Because currently, uh, Phantom Darkness has about three money cards in it. So I, I would like to pull, hopefully, an ulti. But out of one pack, there's such a low chance of that happening. So these Crossroads Chaos are first editions. I don't really know what's in the set either. So we start with a Revival Gift. Poison Chain. Doppelganger. Morphtronic Accelerator. Oh nice, we've got an Ultra, Psychokinesis, I don't know if that's useful these days, but Card Rotator, Morphtronic Datatron, Wall of Ivy, and Psychic Jumper. So, second pack, that's pretty cool that we got an Ultra in the first pack, because last time I only got a single Super out of five packs, so I think that was from uh, Jewelist Genesis. And to be fair, it's a pretty useless super. I don't know how useful Psychokinesis is. But, uh, Comrade Swordsman of Landstar. I've never had one of those before, actually. Seed of Deception. Nettles. Morphtronic Monitron. Paralyzing Chain. Iron Chain Coil. Morphtronic Engine. Morphtronic Cellphon. And Factory of 100 Machines. That's interesting, because last time I opened one of these tins, I didn't actually get a single Morphtronic card, but this time I've had um, one card that is to do with Morphtronics, another Morphtronic, another Morphtronic, Morphtronic. Like, all the Morphtronics, Morphtronic there. You know, I've got like five Morphtronic cards in two packs. So, onto the first set of the 5Ds era, actually, with uh, Jewelry's Genesis. Right, to be fair, I only bought this uh, 
tin for the packs because to be honest like turbo warrior is like the worst promo card possibly in existence because it's the most useless thing ever so we've got turbo booster fish depth charger destructotron psychic snail defense draw okay we've, we haven't got a hollow in us oyster moister dark the dark charmer oh cool quillbot hedgehog oh that's really cool actually I've never actually had a Jules Genesis version, I've always had the one that's from the um, start deck. You know, the Junk Warrior. I actually do have a Super as well. We've got a Junk Barrage. So, next up, we've got Light of Destruction. So, this pack, I don't think there's anything super valuable out of this pack, but, you know. Oh man. I knocked the phone. Um, okay. What are you doing, phone? Play psycho. <laughs> psycho phone! Stop it! Okay, so. We've got Tour of Doom. Factory Man Microcell. Dice Try. Interplanetary Invader A. Destruction Jammer. Volcanic Queen. <laughs> Goblin Recon Squad. Realm of Light and Sanguine Swamp. So I'm keeping all of the sets separate and then I'll just put them all together at the end. So, Phantom Darkness is such a ridiculous pack to try and get separately. Like, no one is selling this pack separately anywhere. And you literally, it is like the most short printed box ever. It's either that or everyone just bought them and opened them. So we've got a Spell Chronicle, Gladiator Beast Battle Archfiend Shield, Blue Thunder T45, Neospatian Twinkle Moss. Oh shit, Jesus Christ. Rainbow Neos. Oh man, that's a really cool secret rare actually. But I'm assuming it's super useless. But that's a really cool secret. I didn't realise it was a secret for a second. <laughs> Because, like, the camera doesn't pick it up properly. So, all I saw was uh, silver tech. So, I thought it was a um, rare. So, we've got a Imprisoned Queen Archfiend. A Dark Crusader. Cannon Soldier Mark II. And the Immortal Bushi. So, those are all the packs. Actually, I probably should show you the promo. Which is uh, Turbo Warrior. I'll get it out of the thing, because I don't really care, if I'm honest, because I've got three of these. All of them are in, like, super mint condition, because it's, like, the least played card in existence. Uh, so, Turbo Warrior, level 6, Wind Synchro Monster needs Turbo Synchron, and it's basically like any other Warrior Synchro. It's just one of those generic ones that uh, Yusa uses once in the show, and then never again. <laughs> So, let's just have another look at that Rainbow Neo. Uh, I actually didn't even know that Rainbow Neos is in Phantom Darkness, if I'm honest. But I think there were um, other Neos cards in Phantom Darkness, if I'm not mistaken. There's Psychokinesis. First edition. That's actually a pretty cool card. So, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment. And, I mean, if you did like it, I'll probably buy another one of these tins while they're still available on Amazon, if no one actually buys all of them. Because I actually quite enjoy opening all of these older packs. So, you know, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment, as I said before. And, you know, subscribe if you want to see more openings and deck profiles. So, I'll see you in my next video.